Acadia is actually in the corridor of the Atlantic Flyway, and it's just far enough north that we thought we would have a good chance of seeing snowy owls. So I got contacted early in winter break with an opportunity to go look for snowy owls in Acadia National Park. So it was brutally cold and they had to operate at unreasonable hours. And the intention of that was to let students experience just how difficult it is to be a scientist working in the field. Uh, when we got there, you know, we unpacked, settled in, and um, we ate real quick, and we, we went on a three-mile hike. We hiked up about a mile or so, mile and a half, and then uh, actually did some meditation. Right after that, we stayed uh, dead silent trying to see birds for the rest of the hike. No one said a word from the meditation to seeing that sunset. It was really just like a, an amazing uh, experience. I can't even put it in the words. It was really cool. The students in small groups each day had to get up and do field observations, even though it was brutally cold. And it was pitch black and we were, we had to try to be like dead silent. We actually split up in groups. They also had to do night observations. It's just so different when you're out at night, quiet, Every, there's a bunch of people and your main objective is to be quiet and to listen. We were writing down everything in our field notebooks, which is really hard to do when it's negative 5, negative 10, 15 degrees outside. So Rich McDonald joined us for dinner and then he provided a presentation um, about general bird ecology in the Acadia region. This guy was literally an encyclopedia when it came to birds. He was on our beck and call for like two days. He brought us all around the island. He showed us all of those secret birding spots where he was like, oh yeah, and here we'll be able to see all those really cool birds. Okay, so one thing I learned on this trip was how to identify a snowy owl habitat. They like large flat fields that are huge, like airports, and they like things that they can sit on, and so that way they can kind of observe. As we're approaching the airport, um, one of the students in the van, Lydia Morton, actually shouted out, It's a snowy owl! Oh my gosh! And it was so cool! And then we ended up stopping there for a while, and then, you know, eventually we were kind of like, you know, we should move on. And then we saw another snowy owl in the same area. And that was great because he was flying around, like he was swooping for prey. And like the other, the other guy was just kind of sitting there looking around. I would say it was a really great practice in what a future job of mine could be. I'm really especially grateful too for the Center for Rural Partnership because I am able to put this on my resume. Um, and I, I didn't feel like a student on this trip. I, I felt like I was like a scientist. And you know, being a senior at Plymouth State studying environmental science, I want to finally feel like I am becoming a scientist.